I think one of the things that most other agents don't do a good job of is educating the clients on how to be successful. So um, next question would be, what's, um, what's the biggest mistake uh, maybe you've ever made or, or see other brokers make when it comes to the uh, real estate profession? What's the biggest mistake? Um, I think the biggest mistake was back to what we just talked about is not treating people right. And it's something that I hear all the time. I have situations where people come to me and they basically said, I wish I'd met you, you know, six months ago or a year ago, and then maybe come in and sell the property for our business, for the vacation homes, very specifically, as opposed to residential real estate. It's think about it. If you're going to go on a trip to anywhere and you're going to rent a house somewhere, well, the thing, what, what do you do? You look at photographs, and, and you look at reputation of the house and the location and all the things that go, go with that. And I think one of the things that most other agents don't do a good job of is educating the clients on how to be successful. Their natural instinct, and I get it, you know, you got a, this business uh, is to sell a property, pick up the commission and then move, move, move to the next square. Um, my thought process is, uh, you help them buy, but that's only 30% of, of the scenario. There's another 30% or a third that is setting the property upright so that you or, 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 or your viewers want to come and stay in that property and then setting the business aspects up for it so it'll be successful. And I really believe that most of the agents and the brokers, the biggest mistake they make, um, especially if they're not involved with the short-term rental and a lot of just general residential um, realtors um, get involved in it, find a property, cut the commission check, and then that person's left holding the bag. They don't know what to do next. And I think that's the biggest mistake many of them make. I personally, they wouldn't do it, but personally, they should refer those uh, clients to a specialist and allow them to take care of them uh, instead of doing it themselves, because at the end of the day, they probably shoot themselves in the foot. And that's probably the biggest mistake that's made. Yeah, very well said. You know, I think it's aligning with them with their financial long-term goals, not just a short, you know, one-time yeah. transaction. You really, you know, what I've found is the real estate profession is shifting and for the ones that are really successful, it's more of a wealth advisor, right? It's yeah. more of a real estate advisor. Yeah, you happen to sell real estate, right? But you look at them as like a trusted source, like a financial advisor, right? But for Definitely. real estate. And so that includes finding the right property management. It includes doing the right, yeah. you know, marketing techniques. It Correct. includes, um, you know, stuff like short-term rentals, finding experts in that niche like Jerry and his team, right, to, to, to execute on that strategy. And, and then, and, 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 or that lender, right, or, or that, that, um, that, that the new opportunity that comes up. It's more than just the transaction. And so now let's shift that, Jerry, to the actual broker. Before you shift that, yeah. do you want a job? <laughs> I, need, I need people that think like you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, I mean, that's how I've tried to, 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 to build my business as well. Right. And I find the most rewarding part about what we do is the relationships we get to build, the families we get to serve and learning their story and then helping them achieve their long-term goals. So when really you do that and take that bigger macro view. Um, it's like you're part of the family, right? And that's what I it say is. to my clients. Like you, you're now a part of my family. It's not just, it's not just a transaction.